Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha Shasha and Happy New Year! Today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful Alice in Wonderland Drink Me necklace. I'm going to be using items from the Sophie and Toffee Alice in Wonderland themed box. You can definitely check out that box on their website. I do have a discount code below. And I'm also using the glitter from Larissi. Again, I have a discount code for you in the description. Now first, I'm making the back part of the bottle. Now I had to stop myself, a half teaspoonful of this glitter will do. Um, you know that I love to go over the top extra, but I had to be very delicate with this craft. So I'm just mixing that together now, and then I'm adding it into the back part of the bottle. When I flash cure this, I'm literally doing it for about 10 seconds because any more than that and it will start to lift off of the mold and I don't want that. So I'm doing a second coat of it here now and flash curing it again. What you just saw there was the actual speed that I'm pouring the resin out of the bottle. If I did this video with my actual speed, we'd be here for about four, possibly even five hours. <laughs> but yes, you have to pour really, really slowly to minimize the air bubbles. After a full cure, it came out like this and I'm so, so happy with the result. I then repeated the same process on the opposite side, but this time just with clear resin, and I used my heat gun just to blast out any bubbles. Luckily with this UV resin, the pieces didn't actually shrink that much anyway, so they actually did line up together pretty well, but if you use epoxy resin, then you're sure to get a perfect matchup. So now it's time to make Alice. I'm mixing up some white mica powder that we got from the Alice in Wonderland box, mixing it in together with some UV resin and pouring it into the mold. Now this next part takes quite a long time. So don't say I didn't warn you, but you need to be patient. Just before finishing off Alice, I decided to quickly make the little drink me tag. So I'm using some mauve colored mica powder that we got in a previous box. And I thought it was actually the perfect color for the lettering. And then I added in a drop of pink pigment dye into the white to make the little pink tag. Okay, so now it's time to paint Alice. I'm using my Arteza acrylic paints for this. Um, I use them all the time, really, don't I? <laughs> now, um, this definitely was a job and a half. It really does take some time and some patience just to work out which bit goes where. Um, I've actually sped this up quite a lot. In fact, this particular section right here is actually sped up a hundred times. So yeah, <laughs> definitely take your time. I'll leave a link to the paints that I use and also to the tools that I'm using here in the description box below because I just find them both very helpful. Once Alice was dry, it was then time to dome her with some UV sealer and then she was ready to pop into the bottle. 
Now in this part of the film, the water is incredibly blue. So I wanted to try and give a bit of a blue tinge to the shaker oil. So I used a bit of mica powder and I just dissolved it in the oil. It didn't come out like blue blue when I put it inside of the bottle, but that was good because obviously I didn't want it to overpower Alice. Um, but it just gave it enough of a hint. And I mixed up some sand and some brown mica powder and used that for the cork. I didn't want to put too many pieces inside of the shaker because I wanted everything to be in there for a reason. So the black bow is to match the bow in her hair, the yellow is to match her hair, the little white flower is to match the white petticoat and apron of her dress. And I put the little balls in there to sort of represent the bubbles and a hint of glitter because glitter. Um, I really like this combination. I like that everything nods to each other. I think it's quite nice. After sealing around the edges, it was time to very carefully add in my shaker oil. I like to make sure that I'm holding the needle at an angle so that some air can still escape from the hole. Once I've done that, I then very carefully plug up the hole with some more UV resin. I attached a bale to the top and then I also went around all of the edges with some more UV resin just to complete the glass bottle look. Next I'm using some metallic nail tape as string to go around the neck of the bottle and to tie the tag onto. I wasn't sure whether to have the tag moving or not but I decided against it because I wanted the only things to move to be Alice and the little pieces inside. This way I could keep the necklace a bit more together you know. <laughs> Well, here she is, my darlings. I really hope that you enjoyed watching me create this as much as I did. I had so much fun and I particularly liked doing the painting. It took me forever, but I think that it was definitely worth it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, particularly if you're a fan of Alice in Wonderland. If you enjoyed this video and you're not yet part of the Shasha squad, then don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next one. Take care, my darlings, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.